funniest thing about this album is that for all of us, it almost felt so quick when we were going into it. Definitely simplicity was, was key. I took it back to the roots, a lot of old school influence, Jocko, Rocco Prestia, Getty Lee. Uh, we really wanted a different approach, uh, not just for bass, but for you know, the, all aspects of the album. And uh, you know, I think we really achieved that. The way we did the album this time, opposed the last uh, two or three times with other recording. It's not too much different, you know, being on Nuclear Blast. It's kind of the same process, just with a lot more experience, you know, like yeah. we get all the guitars done, most of them, we do some of them in the studio, but we get a lot of the guitars done just at, at my place, you know, we've, we've gotten a lot better at recording ourselves and, uh, you know, getting better takes and making it sound perfect and when we come to the studio. We're actually doing it a lot different than we have been doing. This time we get all the guitars done uh, before we do anything else. So, so we come to, to Shark Bike with Zach and we, we get all the guitars and bass set up and then and then in a couple weeks after that we're gonna we're gonna go do the drums with Mark Lewis. So you know we came back to Zach because he's definitely our go-to guy in you know, the Bay Area. You know, we like his we like his work ethic and we like how he runs with bands and we like how honest he is and how honest we can be with him in return. Um, and then we also, you know, wanted to use our, more of our resources to go to someone new, like Mark Lewis, who, you know, you loved his records for such a long time. And for us, it was kind of exciting to be like, all right, we've kind of stayed in the Bay for a long time making records, and now we actually have the means to go pick and choose who we want to do this next one. So we get to go to Florida and kind of have an entirely new brain on the record.